Imagine a sea, rich in resources and vital for global trade. Now consider this. What if that sea becomes a hotbed of international dispute? Welcome to the South China Sea. Nestled in the heart of the Pacific Ocean, this body of water is more than just a geographical feature. It's a stage where countries like China, the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei and Taiwan play out a high-stakes drama of sovereignty claims. From vast oil and gas reserves to critical trade routes, the South China Sea holds economic and strategic importance that reaches far beyond its shores. This is the South China Sea dispute, a maritime tug of war with the potential to change our world. Stay tuned to Cryptic Mystic Vault Channel for more such intriguing narratives. To understand the present, we must delve into the past. The South China Sea dispute has roots reaching back centuries. Let's start with a little history lesson. The South China Sea, a strategic maritime area, has been a bone of contention for ages. This vast and resource-rich body of water has witnessed numerous claims of sovereignty from various countries. Centuries ago, the South China Sea was a bustling hub of trade and commerce, with empires and kingdoms staking their claims. Fast forward to the 20th century, and the situation has only intensified. The major players in the dispute today include China, the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei and Taiwan, each with its unique historical and legal basis for their claims. China, for instance, asserts its rights based on historical records dating back to the Han Dynasty, while the Philippines bases its claim on geographical proximity and a United Nations Maritime Treaty. Vietnam's claim stems from its historical control over the Paracel and Spratly Islands, while Malaysia and Brunei base their claims on their respective exclusive economic zones. Taiwan, despite its political isolation, maintains a claim identical to China's, owing to their shared history. Perhaps the most contentious aspect of this dispute is China's Nine Dash Line. Introduced after World War II, it encompasses a vast majority of the South China Sea, leading to significant international disputes. This audacious claim, largely based on historical rights, has been the cause of much friction. From ancient times to the present, the South China Sea remains a coveted prize. Fast forward to the 21st century, the South China Sea has become a powder keg of tensions. These waters, once a peaceful hub of global trade, have morphed into a chessboard of strategic moves and counter moves. A series of recent incidents have fanned the flames of conflict. China's construction of artificial islands, for instance, has ratcheted up the stakes. By transforming submerged reefs into militarized outposts, China has sought to cement its claims, drawing a chorus of international condemnation. Meanwhile, naval confrontations have become increasingly common. Ships from rival nations perform a high-stakes dance on the open sea, each asserting their right to these contested waters. The tension in these encounters is palpable, a single misstep away from sparking a larger conflict. The international community has not been a silent observer. Freedom of navigation operations have been conducted by the United States Navy, asserting the universal right to traverse these important trade routes. Such operations serve as a direct challenge to China's expansive claims, a physical embodiment of the international community's rejection of the Nine Dash Line. Diplomatic efforts have also been made to defuse the situation. Talks, negotiations, meetings, the diplomatic machinery has been working overtime. But despite these efforts, the dispute remains unresolved, a Gordian knot of overlapping claims and national pride. In this swirling vortex of territorial claims and escalating tensions, one thing is clear. The South China Sea dispute is not just about lines on a map. It's about power, resources and the rules of the international order. As the waves crash upon disputed shores, the world watches, waiting. So, where do we go from here? The South China Sea dispute is a complex puzzle, but solutions are possible. As we look ahead, there are a few potential scenarios that could play out. Some posit a peaceful resolution, with countries agreeing on shared usage and boundaries. Others, however, foresee a potential escalation, with increasing militarization and territorial disputes potentially leading to outright conflict. In this delicate dance, the role of ASEAN cannot be overstressed. As a regional organization, it has been instrumental in mediating disputes and promoting peace. Its efforts to maintain regional stability while promoting a peaceful resolution are crucial in this high-stakes game of geopolitical chess. However, 
The dispute is not only about territory or strategic advantage. It also has significant environmental and economic implications. The South China Sea is home to diverse marine life and valuable natural resources. Its coral reefs, a vital part of the marine ecosystem, are under threat due to escalating territorial disputes and militarization. Overfishing too is a concern. Economically, the sea is a lifeline for many countries that depend on it for resources and trade. A peaceful resolution is not just a matter of international law or regional security. It's also about safeguarding the environment and ensuring economic stability. In the South China Sea, the stakes are high and the world holds its breath. The path to resolution remains uncertain, but one thing is clear. The importance of diplomatic efforts in navigating these dangerous waters.